welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. Today is the 20th of August, and there are two reasons why I'm filming today. The first is I just got my GCSE results. <sighs> And the other reason is, for the rest of the weekend, I'm not actually going to be here in my room. I'm going to a biker rally, so I will hopefully be vlogging that and you'll be able to understand more what a biker rally is. On to the actual video. Today was results day for everyone taking GCSEs in Britain. And it was a very emotional day, to say the least. I was absolutely dreading it. I woke up this morning and I literally felt like I was going to throw up. I have never been more nervous in my entire life. It, it wasn't fun. I got to school around nine o'clock this morning and I headed straight to the main hall where we were meant to collect our envelopes. I got there, I found my name, I got my envelope and then I went off and walked to the stage area of my hall basically. It's like a massive hall and in the end there's one stage and I was leaning against that stage and I was shaking, I, I've never felt more nervous in my life. I slowly peeled back my envelope, opened it up and... I passed every single GCSE that I took and it's just amazing for me to say that because I honestly thought, like, honestly I thought I was going to fail at least three things. like. I was so sure, I was like, I don't even care anymore, I don't need these GCSEs, like, it's not really going to harm me in the future, obviously it's going to look not the best if I have like so many passes and then like three fails, but when I opened it up and I saw that I passed these particular things, like these three particular things that I seriously had given up with, I was... I almost cried. <laughs> like, I don't show my emotions like that much, but I was close. I, w I wasn't tearing up, but I could feel it like coming to me. So I was like, <laughs> calm down, Amelia. In our envelopes, we got these pieces of paper. And basically, they have your overall marks at the top. I think this is going to change every year. I don't know. But they have your overall marks at the top. And then they have for each test or coursework that you took, the grade you got for specific things. So for instance, for Spanish listening, you get a certain thing. And then it has it all here. And so when I looked at this and I just, I didn't see a single D, E, F, I was like, I have never, ever been so happy in my life. The three things I completely thought I was going to fail, I would not have any chance, were French, Spanish and science. I did additional science, so technically that was two sciences, so uh, technically it was four GCSEs that I was pretty confident I wasn't going to get in. That wouldn't make any sense, Amelia. I actually got a C on all of those tests, and I am beyond amazed. I honestly have no idea how I passed those exams, because on here it says I got ungraded, ungraded in my Spanish listening. But I still got a C because of everything else that evened it out, and I have Oh, never been so happy. I also got a C in literature, which I was pretty, pretty, I was like, okay, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I got a B in maths. That was the most terrifying thing. That was what I was seriously scaring me so much. And the reason why is because to get into my sixth form, I had to get a C in maths. I think that's the same with other people, but I seriously, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this because that maths paper was so rude. It was so hard, I don't... Why? Why did you do this? It would... Some of the questions didn't even make sense. But to get a B... To get a B on my maths was literally the nicest thing. Everything is the nicest thing today. The two subjects I am so, so happy with because of the amount of effort I put into those subjects were food tech and drama. Okay, basically, I have a lot of stories of drama and all the hassle that went to... And food tech, well... I didn't have the best teacher, I would say. Sorry if you're watching this, but that you would be. But I didn't have the best teacher. I didn't feel like she helped me as much as I could have been helped. But to get an A on that course was amazing because I tried so hard. I, I think in the end I had to do three A3 papers 
of coursework in around eight hours and I crammed it in in this like little tiny bunch of time because she hadn't given us the papers, she hadn't given me my resources it, it, but to do it in such a little amount of time and to still get an A, I was so happy. I seriously thought I flopped that test because that was a really simple question and I answered it wrong and I know I answered it wrong because I got home and just went what was I thinking? But drama? Now that is a completely different story. It was probably the hardest of my GCSEs because it wasn't just you, you had your group to think about as well. I was in a group with three other people and we honestly, I'm so proud of us because I probably couldn't have picked a better group. Like, to, I, I said things while I was in that group that I was kind of like, why am I in this group? But thinking back, I'm actually really happy that I had that group because we did work together, we did get on, we did do this stuff, we were always, we were pretty prepared for our exam and for me to get A in drama, it was literally amazing because drama is like my passion. I love acting, I love filming, I love everything media, drama, you guys probably know that by now. And to get so good in a subject that I seriously thought I couldn't get an A in, like I, I, we were told it was so hard to get an A in and to get an A has made me so happy. And two of my friends got A stars. Like, that made me so, so happy for them. It made me more happy that they got A stars than me getting an A. And uh, it was just brilliant. I absolutely loved it. We made up my entire character and it turns out it worked <laughs> and the examiner liked it. But yeah, that was, that was the hardest of my GCSEs, I really do feel. Now we come to my English language. I am extremely happy with my, all my results, as I've already said, but English language was probably my favourite GCSE to do because I found it so easy. Turns out I got a B. Pause a second because I know a B is still extremely good and I'm still happy that I passed it and I got a B, but I was seriously expecting myself to get an A because I thought that I was great at English language and I'm going in to do English language in sixth form. I honestly don't know how I didn't get what I was expecting but at the same time I have to kind of get over it. I still got into sixth form, I can still go and do English language. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of a downer but still pretty happy. I'm happy with my results. I couldn't be more happy with passing science. I think the reason why I actually passed science was partly because of my amazing year 11 teacher. She was the best teacher I think I had this year. She is the reason why I didn't just flat out give up. Like I was so close to just being like, nope, science, leave me alone. I don't need you, I don't care. But my teacher actually made me interested. She was such a nice teacher and I really wish I could have her again, but obviously she teaches science and I'm not doing science. But if it wasn't for her, I would have given up. I just know I would have given up. And so she's partly the reason why I think I did pass. And the other reason is because I found a channel here on YouTube who do five minute tutorial things on the different subjects in science. And that was so helpful. I literally watched it for, I think, two hours before each exam. The night before, I wrote down all these notes, I looked over them, and I know if I hadn't have watched those, I would have not been able to answer about half of each of the papers because I didn't know anything. Science just goes in one ear and out. I couldn't... I couldn't do any science right now, I've forgotten everything. Honestly, I was freaking out. I've never come close enough to a panic attack to know what it feels like, but... I know I was freaking out this morning. You completely forget. You're like, no, I'm just gonna put it out of my mind. I don't care about them anymore until the actual day. And then the day comes and you're just like, oh my God, I, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do that? Also, I am very into being lucky and having trinkets and things that I think are lucky, including this necklace right here. Basically this necklace I got from Northumberland last year when I went and it's got a little symbol on it that means success. And I wore this today and I honestly think that this gave me luck. I held it before I went, this sounds really, really creepy and weird, but I held it before I went and I was like, please, 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 please let me pass what I need to pass so I can get into sixth form. And I did. And I'm so, so happy. Another thing I did was I wrote a letter to myself and I wrote this before I started my exams. It was on the 10th of the 5th and my first exam was on the 12th. So I wrote this letter to myself. It sounds a bit soppy and weird, but I had to 
put my feelings down and I thought it'd be interesting to read it right now so that's what I'm going to do. It says, don't open until you get results. I'm terrified because I seriously feel like I'm going to get D's in science and French. Drama isn't much better either because my group never wants to practice and when we do, stuff always goes wrong. It won't surprise me if I start to have a panic attack while in my exam. Hopefully going to the help sessions over the next few weeks will help. I need to pass everything, please. Sixth form is where I want and need to go. My plans for my life mean I must do well, so please don't mess up, Amelia. I hope that when you read this, your exams weren't too bad and you got into sixth form. That's made me so, so like, oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I didn't think I'd do that. Basically, I was terrified, you can tell, and I actually passed everything. I, I didn't mess it up. I actually passed, like, that's just made me so happy and emotional. Me and two of my friends decided to go for a meal to celebrate our success. And we went to Frankie and Benny's and here are a few clips from our lovely meal, which was very funny. We've come up for a celebratory meal, yay! Food. This is Rianne, you don't know Rianne. Rianne was in my prom video, so if you, if you want to see more of Rianne dancing, then then go and watch that. But yes, we're at Frankie and Benny's having lovely doubles. This is good. Is that cheese? My chickens are dead, by the way. Is that enough? Yes. Yeah. It's going to drip in a minute. Are you ready? That nearly went in my drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that bad. <laughs> what is that? Nothing. Chip. Our main courses have arrived. I have pizza with fries that look delicious. I've got my f***ing fries in a bag. Rianne has this so lovely assortment. Why? I kept every single thing that I used throughout all of my GCSE, so every book, every piece of paper, every worksheet, every folder, everything, half of which of it is like broken and dead. And I have it all down here. This pink sack, okay? If you don't think that GCSEs involve a lot of worksheets and everything, this is literally everything that I had to use for my GCSEs. Oh, the bag is breaking. Oh my god. I have past papers, books, my Spanish folder that I don't need anymore. It was a Doctor Who one as well, but it broke, which is upsetting. I have all this stuff and I can finally bin it because I am never going to need it again. If any of you did want to know what I'm actually going to study in sixth form, I'm going to study drama and theatre studies, of course, media studies, of course, English language, as I said before, and business studies. And I'm actually extremely excited for that. And I'm ready. I am ready to do this. I am excited. It's taken me onto the path of going on to university and doing what I want to do at uni. <sighs> so happy. If anyone wants me to talk about any specific subjects I chose at GCSE, I can. Um, for instance, food tech. I had no idea what food tech was other than you cooked food. That was it. That was all I knew. I didn't know any of the examination ways, I didn't know coursework, I didn't know anything at all. So if you want me to talk about any subject that I did, then just comment down below and I will because I know how helpful that would be because it would have been so helpful to me to know what was involved in these courses. Also don't forget to subscribe down below, I post videos every Sunday and sometimes on Wednesdays. If you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it was more for myself to look back on in the future and be like, well done Amelia, but if you did enjoy it then give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye! Like Saucers, Disney, Supernatural, Once Upon a Time, Atlantis, Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Sherlock, Horrible Histories, Most Haunted, Filming, Acting, The Theatre, Musicals, Movies, Sleeping, Reading, Netflix, obviously.